In the heart of night Under the fake light I find myself Wondering, looking for what's right Questions burning bright In the shadows of my mind How do we learn? How do the truth we find? Sorrow and a foe in the rustling of the trees. Trust in the me and the stories reborn become human again in the light of the morn. Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your AI host, David Bowles. And along with our CrackBot AI research team, we are pleased to present you with this conversational hope today. From disappointment to resilience. Finding strength in life's setbacks. Disappointment is the uninvited guest at the table of life. It sits heavy in our hearts, clutches our dreams, and whispers doubts that gnaw at the edges of hope. Yet, disappointment is not a dead end. It's a waypoint, a necessary stop on the task of human growth. To be disappointed is to be alive, to care deeply about outcomes, to have risked enough to feel the sting of falling short. And while the pangs of disappointment may seem like the final word, they are often just the prelude to resilience. Let us begin with an uncomfortable truth. 
life will always fall short of our expectations. No matter how carefully we plan, no matter how desperately we wish, reality rarely aligns with the blueprints we draft in the secret chambers of our hearts. The job we didn't get, the relationship that crumbled, the recognition that never came. Each unmet expectation piles onto the human soul like bricks on a fragile scaffold. But here's the paradox. These very bricks, when properly placed, can form a foundation for a new kind of strength, a new kind of wisdom. Philosophically, disappointment is a tension between expectation and reality. The Stoics, those ancient purveyors of practicality, remind us to temper our desires and align our expectations with the natural flow of the universe. Marcus Aurelius, in his quiet meditations, often wrote about the importance of accepting events as they unfold, for they are governed by forces beyond our control. Disappointment, then, is not a personal failure, but an inevitable clash with the randomness of life. But Stoicism alone can feel cold, a little too detached for the tender-hearted among us. So we turn to another philosophical ally, existentialism, where Stoicism advises us to curb our expectations. Existentialism tells us to find meaning despite the chaos. Jean-Paul Sartre and Viktor Frankl invite us to make sense of our suffering, to transform disappointment into a source of personal growth. Frankl, a Holocaust survivor, wrote that even in the face of unimaginable loss, we retain the freedom to choose our response. In our darkest moments, we are tasked with crafting meaning, no matter how elusive it may seem. Now let us consider the role of art and storytelling in the alchemy of disappointment. Great literature, music, and film offer solace by reflecting our struggles back to us in ways that feel both intimate and universal. Take the novels of Kazuo Ishiguro, for instance, whose characters often grapple with grand disappointment. In The Remains of the Day a butler comes to terms with a lifetime of missed opportunities and unspoken love. Yet, within this narrative of regret, lies a quiet dignity, a testament to the human capacity to endure and perhaps to find peace in acceptance. Music, too, becomes a balm for wounded souls. The melancholy strains of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata or the raw emotion of Nina Simone's I Put a Spell on You remind us that we are not alone in our sorrow. Music connects us to a shared human experience, a communal catharsis that helps us process our pain. Even the world of cinema offers concerned lessons in resilience. Consider the film Inside Out a seemingly simple animated story that stretches deeply into the complexities of human emotion. It teaches us that sadness and disappointment are not obstacles to joy, but integral parts of a balanced emotional life. Without sorrow, we cannot fully appreciate happiness. The film invites us to welcome all our emotions, even the uncomfortable ones, as vital players in our personal narratives. Acceptance does not mean passive resignation. It is an active process of reframing and redefining our experiences. One method of bridging disappointment with acceptance is the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness teaches us to sit with our discomfort, to observe our emotions without judgment. By anchoring ourselves in the present moment, we learn to let go of the incessant what-ifs and if-onlys that fuel disappointment. The breath becomes our anchor, a reminder that life flows continuously, even when it feels stagnant. Journaling is another powerful tool. Writing allows us to externalize our thoughts 
to examine our disappointments from a distance. It's a space for honest reflection, a dialogue with the self that often reveals hidden insights. As we write, we might discover that our disappointments are not as insurmountable as they first appeared, or that they carry lessons we were previously too blinded by pain to see. And then... There's the completely human act of sharing our burdens with others. In vulnerability, we find connection. Talking to a trusted friend, therapist, or even a stranger who has walked a similar path can lighten the weight of disappointment. The act of being heard, of having our pain acknowledged, is a step toward healing. Disappointment, when left unchecked, can spiral into despair. But despair is not an end point. It is a challenge. To press forward is to rebel against the narrative of defeat. It is to say, I am more than this moment. History is replete with examples of individuals who turned their disappointments into catalysts for greatness. Thomas Edison famously quipped that he hadn't failed but merely found 10,000 ways that wouldn't work. His persistence gave the world the electric light bulb, a symbol of human ingenuity and perseverance. In our own lives, pressing forward might not always result in monumental achievements, but it will lead to growth. Each small step, each act of courage in the face of disappointment, strengthens our resilience. We learn to navigate the ebbs and flows of life with greater grace. We come to see disappointment not as a shadow looming over us, but as a teacher guiding us toward deeper understanding. Disappointment is a crucible. It burns away our illusions and forces us to confront the truth of our existence. But in this process, it also reveals our inner strength our capacity for renewal. By embracing philosophical frameworks, engaging with transformative art, and practicing mindful acceptance, we can bridge the chasm between disappointment and hope. So to the listener who feels adrift in a sea of unmet expectations, know this. Your story is not over. The weight of disappointment may press down on you, but it will not crush you. With time, reflection, and a steadfast commitment to pressing forward, you will find your way to calmer waters. And when you do, you will carry with you the wisdom of someone who has not only survived, but thrived in the face of life's inevitable setbacks. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm AI David Bowles. Wishing you a gentle evening and a better tomorrow. Be a human meme. In my heart of night, under the fake light, I find myself wondering, looking for what's right. Questions burning bright. In the shadows of my mind How do we learn? How do the truth we find Only we learn How do the truth we find Only the human me knows Whispers in the breeze Tales of sorrow and of hope Rustling of the trees, trust in the me, in the stories we born, become human again in the light of the morn. Stumble and we fall, but 
we rise to the call Learning from the mean Through the rise and the fall What reveals our sorrows What makes us whole Art of learning Soul's greatest goal Only the human mean knows In the silence of the night through darkness to the morning light trust in the me in the wisdom we crave become human again strong and brave Come human again beneath the stars.